afternoon, everyone, and welcome. Welcome to Stocks with Show Play of the Day. Play of the Day number two, pick number two. A and F was pick one, this was pick two. I actually did two things today. I'm holding this tight to the chest here now because it's very, very, very late to be in a trade. It's almost one o'clock. I knew this would get down to the low of the day. I knew at least that, which is basically at now. I did break it, but not really. Could this go to the next target? Yes. Uh, why? Because it's weak as all get out. It's not doing anything wrong, and I know some people took this with me and then couldn't hold it. If you played this right today, you really could have banged this one out. And I like the a and today, but I'm saying you could have done the first trade in this quick, got all out, did the second trade in this, and then took it on down. You could have got all out or still been in it, but you could have actually got a dollar out of this today or more if you did it twice. Here, this is going to break the low again. Next target, this is 39.25 or 39-ish. Time of the day here is fine, though, too. Let me just see something. <sighs> I'm getting out of this, though, if this doesn't break the low soon. All right, let's go over it. Everything was wild this morning. Uh, so here's the first entry on this. Drop, break, it could have gotten out. Rally back, boom. Here's where I called it and I did a great job telling everybody where to put the stop. Beautiful. Followed all the way down. This was a, this had good entries today actually. And I, and I put it at the right place. So it kept us in the trade. I kept us in the trade because it put the stop at the right place, even though it did this little doohickey here. And this is a three hour trade here on the second call. So very, very nice move in this today. Didn't have time to go over the trade reviews in the room because I lost internet connection. So I thought I'd do another video on this though too. But if you did both the things with me today, have a great day. I think a lot of people did do both the things. I think some people though did this and then killed it. Here we go. Come on fast. It's going to break the low. I knew it. I knew it. And actually, I don't know why people killed it. Everyone's impatient. I get that. I do get that. When this broke down in here and tried to break and then rallied up and then came down again and tried to break again, the $70 area and couldn't do it, I, I think people killed it. You were up in this from here. Call was 99. So you were up 20, 30 cents in here, depending where you got filled. And so you could have just chunked it out. But I really felt like there was, there was nothing to do anything wrong at all. And it was just taking its time. And uh, and it's going. And it's going and it's working. And here it goes. It's going to try to break the low. If this doesn't here, I'm all out. But I think it does. And that's why I'm still in it. Here we go. Under 49 is a new low and fast. Here we go. I think this drops over and continues into 2 o'clock. Here. This is a nice call. Anyways, this is why you don't kill something for no reason. Here it is. Anyways, here this is, you see here, even in the rally here, you were still up. It touched on 84. A call was 99. I mean, you were still up. So I know some people are impatient, but this never did anything wrong. If you did the A and F and were up in that, you could have held this, which is what I did. So here we go with, look at this. This looks really good here now, actually, on the daily. All right, I have to pay attention to my trade. Good job, everyone that did the fast. If you held it, we'll go over this in the room tomorrow, but I wanted to do a video quick here since I lost internet, came back, and didn't have time. Have a great day, everyone. See you tomorrow in the Stocks with Show Live Trading Room. Email me if you'd like to sign up for the Golden Gap classes this weekend, Saturday and Sunday, March 7th and 8th. I'm Alyssa at the Thanks, everybody. Have a great day.